Oops. I didn't realize it was recording because my phone is on silent. Um, it is Thursday. That was testing day for skills. And guess what? Didn't pass. But, I can pass. It is possible. What happened is you can get a total of 10 points maximum to pass. Uh, if you get 11, you fail. So, I got 5 on the offsets, 0 on the straight line backing, which, I mean, if I would have got even 1, I would have punched myself in the face. But then I got 7 on the 90 degree alley dock, which is nearly impossible for a lot of people, and even the people that are decent at it get, you know, inconsistent results. And... I actually would have got it in a lot less points, but the instructor put his whistle in his mouth and I thought he was about to blow it to tell me that I had gone out of bounds, so I stopped and pulled back up, and then everything after that just went downhill very quickly. So um, yeah, I got 7 points on that, 5 on the offsets, so you can get 10 total, so I got 12. So my options are either redo the 90 and get five points or redo the offset and get three now I should be able to get three on the offset so I'm gonna redo that first and see what I can do and if I can get three then I don't have to redo the 90 but I'm probably gonna have to redo the 92 which is a problem because I don't know if I'll be able to get it I should be able to get it in less than seven points most of the time that I get it in the box I get it in like two or three points because you get one point every time you pull the truck forward because it's a backing maneuver so you're supposed to be coming back and you get one point every time you go over a line or hit a cone so if you notice you're going to go over the line you pull up first you get one point you don't notice you go over the line you're going to get a point for going over the line and a point for having to pull back up so um, hopefully tomorrow will be better and I'll get it it's only three o'clock usually we don't get out until four so I'm, I'm back early because um, that was the other thing kind of stinks usually Thursday testing day goes about six they had a meeting after so it we got cut off at 2 30 so we started testing pretty early in the day and people didn't get quite as much time as they wanted but we'll just have to see what happens tomorrow I gotta redo my brake test from the pre-trip too because I was an idiot and I put it one of the parts of the brake test, which you have to do perfectly, is to put the, the shifter into second gear when you're doing all of your brake tests. I put it in first. So even though I did all the brake tests right, I did them all in the wrong gear. And since brake tests had to be perfect, I, had, I have to redo it tomorrow. I should be able to. I'm going to study it tonight just to make sure. And just go through it slow. Make sure I get everything. No problem. Otherwise, if I can't pass those things tomorrow, I'll be here another week instead of going to road training. There are definitely going to be some people from this class that are here next week, so I wouldn't be the only one, but I'd really like to go to road training now because if I'm here another week, I don't get a second chance at road week if I don't do good there. And I go right home, and then I still got to pay my tuition, and I don't have a job. So, you know, it's a little bit stressful, but I gotta try to get past it because it's making it hard for me to sleep and stuff, and that's not good. This video is probably way too long already. I don't have anything else to say anyway. So, since tomorrow is the final testing day, I will make another video tomorrow with my results. Hopefully, that will be better than today's. Goodbye.